Easy chicken thigh recipes and a teriyaki sauce make for a great dinner. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jersey. Put about a tablespoon or so of ghee in the bottom. Put your chicken thighs skin down. Let it sear the skin for about three to five minutes. Put the lid on it and I sprinkled it about a tablespoon of this. I have the recipe up on the blog with the printable PDF that you can download and save. It's been about five minutes. I am going to turn them over. Got a little bit of crisp. I'll rotate them. Doing this one-handed solo today. That's normally how I like it, but we're good. And I have it a little less than medium. I love the ghee because it won't smoke, has a high burn content. It could have went a little bit longer, but we're good. I'm going to put the lid back on it. Let that sit three to five minutes again. I'm going to lower heat just a little bit between low and medium. And we are back. It's been five minutes. And as you see, they're not sticking. They're all moving perfectly. None of them are sticking. And they started making their own juice mixing with the ghee. Love that. Perfect. I'm going to put the lid on it, put them in the oven, and I will start checking on them in 25 minutes. The oven will be 350 degrees with the lid on it. I'm not going to add anything else to it. And we will be back. And we are back. The timer just went off. I'm going to do this one-handed. I have it set to poultry, 165, and that one's at 172. So they are done. They look beautiful. I will make one of the sauces to marinate these and I'll heat them up in the oven probably about 5-10 minutes on probably about 250 degrees with the lid on. So I'm going to store this once it cools down. I'll save the broth, put it in the refrigerator, and then tomorrow we will heat it up and have it for lunch. And since I'm not going to eat this tonight, I don't want the chicken sitting in the fat. So I put all the thighs in one of my wet jars and then this will get separated tomorrow. I'm just going to strain it divide the fat from the broth i'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and since it is still kind of hot this will actually seal it doesn't have to but it just makes it stay fresher longer and then tomorrow i'll make some of the marinades when we have it for lunch start with a quarter cup of filtered water one tablespoon roughly of cornstarch you can use arrowroot or rice powder Many times I do use arrowroot. Just stir cornstarch, arrowroot, or rice flour until it's completely dissolved, five seconds. And then you add the rest of the ingredients. Now you may use either brown sugar, sugar in the raw. I'm using two tablespoons of organic maple syrup. Meaning you need some kind of sweetener. Cold, snowy night and on the mountain, so I thought maple syrup would be perfect. Then you add a quarter cup of suey sauce. I like to use certified organic, non-GMO, and the less sodium. This is more or less to flavor. Give it a quick stir while you're waiting for the other ingredients. This will give it a little bit of the acidity that it needs. This is my homemade apple cider vinegar. See the mother in there, the SCOBY? I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on that sometime this month, hopefully. To add a little acid, I like to add at least one to two tablespoons. Again, give it a stir. Liquid smoke, totally optional. I like it because I'm gonna be using some of this sauce for my venison jerky that I'm gonna be making next. Use roughly about a tablespoon. Minced garlic, teaspoon or so. Turn the temperature down to low. It's already thickening. And I like to add half a teaspoon to one teaspoon ginger root powder, or you can use real ginger root. This is from my garden I took out this summer. Take that off the heat. I really like it, so I'm going to use a full teaspoon. Half is optional. One teaspoon is better. Off the heat now. I'm just going to give it a stir. It's nice and thickened. And that is a very good teriyaki sauce. I'm going to use some of this over the 
chicken thigh recipe and the rest I'm going to make venison jerky tonight and then put the jerky in my dehydrator. We have deer venison that we sliced very very thin. Sometimes we will grind it like a hamburger and make it that way into venison jerky but this is going to be for the real venison straight cut. If it's a little too thick you can add a little water or a little bit more apple cider vinegar. I think it needs a little bit more sweetener. It's very acidic. I never measure this. As I did it for you so you know how to make it. I usually dump and go. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sugar in the raw. That black in there is left over from my vanilla beans after I made it two, three times, the vanilla extract. And that's why you see the little black in there. Give it a good stir so it dissolves. Oh, that's much better. And that's another reason why I like to use the low sodium soy sauce. This is very salty right now even without adding any salt to it. I'm going to put a little of this on the chicken thighs and tonight I'm in a hurry so I'm going to reheat them in the microwave and then we'll be right back. Love, love, love this pan. Heats up wonderful. It has a little steam vent in the hole. I'll save the extra little broth that came from the thighs. Put on mashed potatoes. I won't waste it. And see how thick it is? You actually can use it. The reason I made it a little bit thicker because I want it to stick to the venison. Beautiful sauce. It's almost like a caramel sauce. And we have mashed potatoes and homemade macaroni and cheese. You can put this back under the broiler if you want to really caramel caramelize it. There you go. Every bite has it. Normally I would put a little extra sauce into a dish for a dipping sauce. But like I said, I'm going to be making a venison jerky in a few minutes and I made just enough to do a small batch of venison jerky that I took the frozen meat out of the freezer so this will be perfect and that's a wrap and here is the marinated venison jerky that, that we will make in the dehydrator thank you for stopping by and if you haven't subscribed hit the bell and over to the right all notification please share on social media give a thumbs and a like and thank you for stopping by